So comes the the imagination of the I thought I am someone separated from everything. My existence is very important and I have to defend it and make sure to preserve it, that those senses come with it. But as this appears as a thought, then it comes the space and comes time with it. But why that space-time disappears, then when you are in absolute silence and you're still and you divert back your attention inwards to pre-thoughts, and you go to this place and you've all been there with me. All of you have been there. We've gone to this place many times together. And we go back to this place and all of a sudden there is no time and there is no space. And your body also disappears. And it's just pure being. So what happens to your body? What happens to your age? What happened to your story? Where do they go? Why do they disappear if they're so real? Why there's a disappearance of this reality that we we call our reality and we call it our lives, why does it disappear? If it's really real, if it's that real, then we should never be able to go into this place of nothingness or this place of pure silence. This place which is beyond, and you can see everything else from there, you would never have access to it. But when you are either in a waking state or sleep state, but now we're talking about waking state, and you're here, and you're able to go beyond your thinking mind and you go into this place that there is no thoughts. There's not even the thought I, of I. That's the last place and your last post. And you go even beyond that one. And you come to this place. And it's just pure being. And that pure being, you're not even observing anything. You even go beyond that because you go beyond the witness because the witness is witnessing something. So there's still an subject and an object. But then you go beyond that one. And it's just is. And we've gone together to this place. And yes, it's amazing. It's incredible. You can call it pure bliss or pure being. But when you go to this place, when you're there, you never say, wow, this is pure bliss or pure being. Because there is not a you capable of saying that thing, you're, you're not there as a person to say this is an amazing experience. It's just that amazing thing is in, the, in, those, in that duration, but only when you come back and you pick up the I, I am Zarathustra, I am Monica, I am someone, so now you come back into time and space. Then you say, oh, wow. 
the artistry, you know what? I was gone. I was one. I was completely blissed out. So, but not when you become the background. When you become the background, which is pure presence, you don't say anything. Because there is no you, there is no separation. There's no someone there just saying, wow, I am, I am one, I'm gone, I'm blissed out. Blissed out being gone is the only, only reality which is happening. And no one's there to experience it. The experiencer is not there. It's just the being. And the being in its pure form is not experiencing anything because there is no duality. Experiencing requires duality. There is someone experiencing something. In pure oneness, there is no experiencer. And nothing's being experienced. It simply is. So it's virtually impossible for you, Monica, to die. You've always been here, sweetheart, and you're always going to be here. Because here is the only place there is. The body can die, it's got a duration, and that's with each and every one of us. But you cannot die. And thoughts and feelings come, but they're just thoughts and feelings. Just like any other thought and any other feeling that comes and goes. That's the good news. <laughs> Thank you. Yeah, you're welcome. Thank yeah. you for bringing this up. I appreciate it. And this is a very imp precious moment that we have. And I'm so glad that we have connected because in this stage of your life, you have come to this understanding and liberation has become possible. And if you stay with your practice, you begin to see that you're really not your thinking mind. And this whole thing is a creation of the mind. The mind has created it. Do you advise me to, to practice every day? Because I, I attract practice every day. Or do I do it? Can I do it? Too much. No, you can never do it too much because when you're doing it, it's very, uh, the, the proof is in the pudding. When you sit in silence, it brings you peace mm. and it brings you bliss. Mm. So you can't do it too much. Okay. It just brings you back into your center. You know, you, you stay silent, you go into the unified field of the oneness and, you know, all these thoughts starts, you know, all these clouds, things appearing and then slowly, slowly everything goes away and you come back into the center and you come back to this knowing that all is well. <laughs> 